Hello, Rahul. Hello, ma'am. Welcome. Good to see you after a long time. How are you? Good. Okay. So, today I'll be giving yeah, you... Now we are preparing him for the second Olympiad, second because he qualified and yes, he never prepared for this. Yes, congratulations, ma'am. <laughs> Thank you. So, I want to second me a chakare. Yes. So, let's see if he is capable. Hai. Aap ye dekho pehle. Speed and everything you have to see. Mm -hmm. okay. Thank you, ma'am. Okay, Bye. better. So, today we will be dealing with factors and multiples. Can you tell me what do you mean by factors and what do you mean by multiples? Factors are the numbers that divide a number that they are of. Like, for example, 2 is a factor of 4. So, 2 is divisible by 4. Not 2 is divisible by 4. 4 is, four divisible, is divisible by, by 2. Sorry. Yes. And multiples are the numbers that... means that they divide, divide the number... Uh, like like instead, 8 is divisible without... by 4. Because yes. 8 is a multiple of 4. Yeah, that means... no. And there can be there. infinite mm. number of multiples of a number, but not mm. infinite factors. Yes, that's correct. And here in the factors, uh, you should make sure that there is no remainder left, right? It, the number should be exactly divisible. Those are your factors. And multiples, just like the timetable we have, tables, tables of five, tables of seven, like that, okay? So multiples of any number would be the table of that number. And yes, that is correct. We had infinity. Okay. So, I'll be giving you some questions. Let's see. How many questions? First question. I'm Just give it a try. I'm between 300 and 500. I'm 20 more than a multiple of 100. Who am I? Hmm. 320 is not a multiple of 100. 370 is not a multiple of 100. 320 is not a multiple of 100. 340. Yeah, 350 is not a multiple of 100. 380 is not a multiple of 100. Ma'am, it's D. Yes, so here you can see you have 340, 370, 400. Yes. Can explain? Yes. So, I'm a multiple of 70. Uh, so, uh, 340... And 370 and 400 are not multiples of 70. Yes, that's correct. 420. And you can see over but here. But there is also another way. So, mm -hmm. a multiple of 100 plus 20. Mm -hmm. 320 is not a multiple of 100. 350 is not a multiple of 100. 380 is not a multiple of 100. But 400 is a multiple of 100. Yes. So, you have like the numbers over here. 100, 200, 300. All these are multiples of hundred right and the number has to be between three hundred and five hundred so you get the number as three twenty and four twenty but we cannot take five twenty also right so it has to be it's between not even these a two numbers of only yes now you have to check which number is a multiple of seventy so yes this number is a multiple of seventy so it will be four hundred and twenty right next Second question, try this one. Read the question, Rahul. Um, uh, it's P56. Yeah, so how did you do this? Mm, seven, it's a, uh, ma'am, there is no other number that's still visible by four. Yeah, seven. like here you can see they're telling you that it has to be either in the packets of four or seven, eight each, right? So it can be four pens over here in one packet or it can be seven in one packet, right? Because seven eights are 56 and uh, four are four, four. Yes. Four fourteens are 56. You know what? You can also try, like, you know, you can also go with its LCM. 
What is the LCM of four and seven? Least common multiple. The LCM of four and seven. Yeah. The LCM of four and seven is twenty eight. Yeah. It's twenty eight, right? And twenty eight times two is fifty six. Fifty six. Right. So you can just try with that number also. Whenever they are asking you any question where here you can see they're telling you fewer than 60 pence. So option C and option D is out of this context, right? If all of the numbers are divisible by four or seven, then you can use LCM. Yes. And it's the so You can list. check it out. Options. <laughs> <laughs> Option C, option D is out of context because they are not fewer than 60. In fact, they are more than 60. So you have only A and B left. Now you can see option A is not a multiple of four, right? And option B is also a multiple of four as well as multiple of seven. And yes, one more thing. When they are giving you the question, the smaller numbers and the options are given in the bigger ones. That means we need to go with the multiples. So you have to find out the LCM. Okay. Now go for the next one. How does this make sense? What does it mean? How many balloons, how many bags of balloons should he buy? Hmm. Yeah. You know what? Whenever you get such type of questions, first, you can just ignore these sentences which doesn't have any numbers over here. Okay? Yeah, like the first one. Yeah. Now just look at the question. What are the three numbers given over there? Tell me the, the three numbers given in the question. The party banners are sold in bags of 10 and a package containing <coughs> eight, eight air pumps. How many bags of balloons should he buy? Yeah. So what are the three numbers given over here? In the question, 20, 10, 8. Correct. Okay. Now, what they're asking you is the options over here. Are there smaller numbers with respect to the given numbers in question or the bigger numbers? Tell me. <clears throat> These options are smaller or bigger? Hmm? These options over here, they are smaller numbers or the bigger numbers? Very small. They are smaller numbers, right? So whenever you see the options as the smaller numbers, that means you need to go with the factors. Okay. That means these are your factors given. So you have to go with HCF. <coughs> oh. The Not... highest common factor of 20, 10, and 8 yes. is 2. So you need to find out the HCF. And 2 bags. Yes. So you have to find out 
by which number we can divide all the three numbers? Two. Yes. So that is the answer. Is that clear? And if the numbers given in the options are bigger numbers, then you have to go with the multiples, LCM. Okay? Hmm. Did you understand this better? Yes, ma'am. <coughs> now try the next one. True or false? Tell me the first one. Is it correct? Mm. Four is true. a factor of 24. True. true. Four false. is a factor of 24. Yes, true, that's correct. True, true, false, true. Okay, this is also true. The third one? True. Okay. False, true. Okay, what will be the first smallest factor over here for eight? It should be one. Yes. Every number, the smallest factor is always one. And, and the, the biggest greatest factor, factor is the number, the number itself. itself. And this is last one. Is it true or false? True. Yes. No, th no <laughs> such thing is called the divisor in factors. Yes. There's no such mm -hmm. thing called a divisor in factors. The divisor is what divides the number. Yes. There could be any divisor for 15, like 5. Yes, that's correct. Next one. Harry works as a gym coach and requires Nikki to swim every 6 days, run every 4 days, and cycle every 16 days in order to stay fit. If she follows her coach's advice and completes all three activities, how many days will she complete all three activities on the same day? <laughs> Six, four, 16. LCF, LC. So the three numbers given over here are 6, 4, and 16. Now look at the option. Whether they are 48 numbers. days. Correct. Very good. So you can see the options over here are the bigger numbers with respect to the option given in the uh, numbers. Then given it means question. LCM. Yes, correct. So you need to find out the LCM of these numbers. <laughs> So you have 2 times 3 is 6, 2 times 2 is 4, 2 times 8 would be 16. We are going with the prime factorization method, okay? Now again, 2 times 1 would be 2, and 2 times 4 would be 8, and this is 3 as it is. Next again, 2 times 2 would be 4. Now you have only prime numbers left over here. So you can multiply 2 times 2, 4, 4 times 2 is 8, 8 times 3, 24, 24 times 2, 48. <coughs> so that's correct. Good. <coughs> Go with the next one, better. Jane has marbles in three different colors, 35 red marbles, 63 white marbles, and 56 green marbles. She put them in plastic containers with equal amounts of each color. How many marbles will she put in each plastic container if there are none left over? Easy. Yeah. <coughs> Seven marbles. 
Correct. So what did you do over here? I divided 184 by, sorry, I, I divided 106. I divided 154 by 7. So 154 is the sum of the marbles. And 7 if, if there are no marbles left over, then it has to be a factor of 154. And the only factor of 154 in the options was 7. Okay, you don't even need to go with that 154. You can just make, make it more simplification over here, simplify it. See, the numbers over here given are the bigger numbers and the options are given the smaller numbers. That means you need to go with the factors, right? Now you have to yeah. find out which is the number by which we can divide all the three numbers in the option. Can we go with six? No, we cannot divide 63 and 35. That's what I was doing. Yes. So you have three numbers. Seven fives are 35. Seven eights are 56. Seven nines are 63. All three numbers are multiples of seven. So it has to be seven. Okay. The next one. Try this one. Mark is a fruit vendor who needs to clear his stock. In the stock room, there are 45 oranges, 54 bundles of grapes, and 27 melons that needed he to be He sells so order. much. <clears throat> Each basket had to contain the same number of pieces of fruit. What is the most number of fruit baskets Mark will pack? The most number of fruit baskets, Mark. Again, would... just check the three numbers that is given in your question. We have 45. We have 54. And we have 27. And the options given over here are bigger or smaller? Rahul? Yeah, they're smaller. They're Definitely. smaller. So we need to go with factors or multiples. We have to go with factors. <laughs> yeah. So tell me, by which number you can divide all the three given numbers? Look, so we have to divide, or we can divide all the given three numbers by nine. Easy. Okay. See. Correct. Good. This is only divisible by nine. No other numbers, okay? So that's and correct. 27 is divisible by 3. Yeah, but in the options, better. According to the options. 3 is divisible by all of these numbers. Yes. Number two should have been more specific. But HCF always means the highest possible number. Okay. Yeah. Highest common number that you have. So the highest number would be 9. Yeah. Next one. Let's go with that. Mark is a fruit vendor again. This, no, this one. Next. Fedra. Fedra works in a mechanic garage. Fedra. Hmm. Name of a boy. Fetra works in a mechanic garage with and was fitting some rods in a bike model when he discovered three iron rods measuring 64 inches, 56 inches, and 40 inches long. In factors, order to reconstruct factors, factors. Yeah, correct. This bike model. Again, you can see there are many uh your sentences which are of no use. Now see. This Look, one in order to reach a mechanic garage to cut another and was fitting some rods in a bike model. Okay. That was useless. <laughs> so there are many such sentences which are making no sense. Okay. They are just uh, superficial sentences which are given over here. Superficial? Which you can, yeah, you can or just artificial. There are super superficial info given over here that means some extra information are given man, but it should be artificial because these questions were made by man <laughs> yes but what the we have a particular term for the extra information which has been given okay so you can just ignore those sentences just go over the numbers that has been given 
So you have to go with the factors. What will be the answer? Uh, uh, so 64, six and things with possible piece with no remainder is mm -hmm. ba -dum -ba -bum. Wait. correct. Good. <coughs> How much you scored in the level one? Level one? English. Okay. Maths. My maths ke results mid-January. Okay. George came up with two numbers and asked his friend to guess them by providing clues such as the number being a multiple of six as well as four and being less than 30. What are those numbers? Huh? Go with the question. Read the question, Bitta. George came up with two numbers and asked his friend to guess them, providing clues such as the number being a multiple of six as well as four and being less than 30. What are those numbers? Yes. And... Twelve and twenty-four are the winners of the competition. <laughs> yes. So how did you do that? Uh it's less than thirty. Couldn't be twenty-four and thirty. Mm. Four and six, no relationship. Six okay. and sixteen and eight, no relationship. Twelve mm. and twenty-four, four, six relationship. Actually, you can check it out. The number which is a multiple of 6 and 4, they are telling, right? 6 as well as 4. So there has to be number which is divisible by both the numbers, right? But here, this number is not divisible by 4. So this option out of context, okay? Now here, they are telling you the number should be less than 30. So we cannot go with this because this is exactly equal to 30. So again, this option is out of context. If you go with the second option, 8 and 16, again, 8 is not divisible by yeah. 6. And your yeah, even 16 is not divisible by None 6. These questions are easy. Yes. So you have only the number, which is 12 and 24, which are the multiples of 4 as well as 6. Actually, you know, the level two questions are a little bit tough. That's it. The topics are the same. And the level one questions were super duper easy. And my friend was still asking, ma'am, what are autotrophs? Hmm. Okay. Since you have already done the level one questions, I think I already taught you level one for the grade four. Yeah, and then I won. Ma'am, I got... Mama got a medal of distinction in English. Oh, great. Congratulations. Ma'am, ma'am, i level one. Yeah, I think you have taken the classes for grade four last year. Yes, ma'am. Mama said this was a new class. <laughs> yeah, she might have forgotten. But you took the class last year, no? That's why. I know. Okay. Now go with this. Tenth one. Last question. Rahul? Yeah. You're busy drawing? No, ma'am. Text yes. and marks for handing out fruit and vegetable saplings to those who had signed up for them. Some aspiring gardener shade. 49 lemon seed. 60. 63 tomato seedlings. And 28 yes. jackfruit seedlings. <coughs> Don't start the nanopause a lot. Those jackfruits. What is the maximum number of aspects you're going to see? Smaller number. Bow down to the larger. Yeah, ma'am, seven. Yes, okay. that's correct. See, actually, you got the concept over here. The concept that I told you that if you're just looking for the smaller numbers in the option and if you have bigger numbers given in the question. Yeah, because that's the easiest way to do it. Yeah, 
I told you the easiest way, but the ones who don't know this method, then they are struggling with the sentences also. They try to understand what's the meaning actually. They have to go with the multiples of factors. They get confused. So this Mama is the easiest way to recognize. Okay. Ma'am, they don't stand a chance in the maths Olympiad. Hmm. Okay, no problem. They'll try their luck next time. Ma'am, already done maths Olympiad. The results are come, gonna come. Hmm. So here you can see these are the bigger numbers and the options are the smaller numbers. So you need to go with the factors and the biggest number by which we can divide all the three numbers is seven. Because 49, 28 is not a multiple of nine, even 49 is not a multiple of 12 and even 14 also. So that's only the multiple of seven. So you have that. That's it. So you've got yeah. to know what type of questions come over here. A little, you can say a little tough, not yeah. much. Yeah, but the topic. I'm going here. to play football today at six o'clock. Okay. Going to be exciting. Going to be fun. <laughs> you were living in which place? Mom, that's why I always keep messy hair. Mom, hmm. Chandigarh. Chandigarh. Ma'am, how many questions have we done? Yes, we have done. Okay. So you can. Ma'am, how many have we done? 10 questions. Mama, look, ma'am, the screen share band curtain. That's why. Mom, no. I always keep my hair messy for messy I like for football. I like that. Actually, it suits on your face. <laughs> Mom, I have not cut it for two months and I love it. Hmm. Okay, better. So we have done with the demo, okay? You can talk to the yeah. team. You can confirm to them. When will you start the classes and all? Okay. So Hello, we'll team. see you. Bye-bye. Take Hello, care. Team. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Hello. Yes, ma'am. 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 And if you have smaller numbers given in the question and the options are bigger, that means you need to go with the multiples. So once he understood that concept, now it becomes very easy to figure it out for him. Okay. So he could figure it out within seconds now. Okay. <laughs> that has become easier. So what I mean, Kibi, for the sec in level two, yeah. you will give him the worksheets or you will give him that... Uh... No, um, uh, like whatever the team will be, I think uh, they will be making us Achha. questions only. Special. Uh, yeah, because the chapters are the same. And we have already discussed the chapters in level one. So right now, they will be just giving us some questions which are coming in level two. So I'll be making him practice those questions. Okay. So we'll have 10 classes so that uh, prepare him for the level two. Yes, ma'am. But the book that was MTG or which was done before, that also comes for second level also? Uh, Ma'am, second level actually it comes, but uh, right now, like uh, even we don't get those questions directly. They are actually, you know, I think uh, available only in the book fairs and all. They are not available in the shops and all. Level one, you will be getting in websites everywhere in the Amazon, Flipkart, everywhere you can see the level one questions. But okay. level two directly, we don't get the questions. Okay, Chalo, I will ask sir where I can find, okay? Okay, ma'am. Thank, Thank you. you Thank you, ma'am.